Hello, and welcome back to episode 5 of our Cadbury Adventure. The next episode, as Dr. Dre would say. I wasn't right to be quite so confident in that, uh, that F.A. Vars third round. I'll show you what's happened. We qualified by the skin of our teeth. We considered early, got back in the lead, had a goal disallowed, they equalised. We then had another goal disallowed. We then took the lead again. They then took the lead with five minutes of play left. McAvoy got us a penalty in the 92nd to go to extra time. And then Walton scored in the 98th. And then we had a third goal disallowed. We just won. We should have won by a lot more. We shouldn't have conceded so many. But shoulds aren't, aren't real. We nearly got knocked out. That would have annoyed me a lot. Just before we go into um, obviously everything else, if you could like or subscribe on the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, show your support. We're unbeaten still. We're not only unbeaten, we've not lost in coming up to two months now. It's going pretty well. We've got Stone Market in the FA of ours fourth round, which I think the Vars is between tiers 9 and 10. Then we've got the Midland Cup quarterfinal against Heather, whoever, whoever she is. League-wise, we are nine points clear. However, the team behind do have two games in hand. So... I'm not so confident. We're doing really well, but we'll just keep plodding on. We've got comfortably the most clean sheets in the league. We don't have the top goal scorer because we've been swapping around here, there and everywhere. But Cameron Stanley is up to 27 goals for the season, which is just stupid. So we'll make his way up here shortly. The team that we're playing against in that cup is Heather, who's been promoted from this league last year. So they're definitely a decent team and on paper better than ourselves. But as we said, before we get into that Heather game, we've got to play Stowe Market in the FA Vars fourth round, I think it was. And we're doing that with Freeman in goal, Blore at right back, Munoz out at left back, Thompson and Yao in the middle, McAvoy on the right, Griffiths on the left, Rowles and Parry in the middle, then with Stanley and Walton up top. So, here we go. I'm starting to get a feeling that the team are getting a little bit too big for their boots, which I'm not keen on. But we'll just try and keep an eye on it. So I'm doing my team talks and like three of them are reacting. Everyone else is just non plus by all, which is quite annoying. We need to keep an eye on uh, the team from our league. So I think they're playing one of their games in hand now. And I also can't remember who it was, but if I see their name, I'll remember. We'll have a little look in a second. Decent attack. Uh, it was Hinkley. So we'll keep an eye on their game against Studley. Oh, they're also quite close to as well. Exciting times. I suppose everyone should be in this division, but certainly are pretty close. Brockton have just gone 3-0 up within 20. That's quite good. I'm not going to look at the other results from the Cup, because we probably won't know who any of them are, so there's no point. Bosma's got it. Myring. Stray. Spruce. He's a tree. Lamb. A few of these names are sounding a bit familiar. Oh, strays just wide, that shot did. Brilliant. We've got to be concerned about the name Myring, haven't we? If we've been if we're being critical. It's uh It's questionable, to say the least. Go out there and grab a goal back for us. Oh, look, no one cares. They just they just don't care. Uh, there's a lot more to come from you. Oh, that's reactions, guys. Oh, they love it. Look at them. They're over the moon. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to demand some more. I believe this team we're playing in are on a higher division than ourselves. It's just the one, but they're a tier 9 team, which isn't ideal. But we'll hopefully be playing against them next year, so we want to know that we can comfortably beat them so we can carry on our ascent through the leagues. This isn't... This isn't filling me with confidence, the fact that a big fat nothing's happened all game. Uh, who's about to pass out? All of my midfield. Which is helpful. Griffiths. What have you got? McAvoy can replace you, but now I don't have a right winger. It's not It's not so helpful. Robinson can come on. There we go. Look at that. Ah. 
Happy dice. I've I've got I've got three. Brilliant. Uh, can someone replace him? Bloor can move up. Have I got Ace right back on the bench? I do, Joshua Webb. Now I can put Rouse off for Robinson. No, didn't click that. Just didn't. I did. Didn't mean to, though. That was the main thing. And what we'll do with these two. Yeah, stay that way around. Look at that. Happy days. Three subs. Two subs. Some subs were made. What are we looking at? We're going attacking. And I'm going to encourage them. They've had the better of the game, which I'm not I'm not happy about. Don't know who said that that could happen. Look how defensive they're playing against us. Gosh. Gosh. Munoz has got it on the left side. Always pulled back. Back to Robinson. Puts it in central with the worst pass in the world to parry. And he sets my ring through. Oh, my ring's destroyed me. Not happy about that. I'm not sure if that was brilliant solo play. He got put through on goal. There's 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 literally one person to blame for that, and it's Robinson. Goal is looking the wrong way. I'm not sure what that's about. He's doing the old no look save. He was just trying one of them. Didn't work. This is our first loss of the whole season. I'm very upset. Very upset. We've got to go and smash Heather now to make up for it. I've got some devastating news. Before we go and plan to smash Heather, Manny Beard's left us. He's gone. So that's sad. I'm going to keep an eye on him, see if we can nab him back when we're a few seasons in. He's gone to a tier 7 side, which is the one just below the Van Rama North. So we'll, we'll have to keep an eye on him, see what he's doing. But our team that we're planning to do, we've got Freeman in goal, Webb and Handley out on left back. He's our new signing. He can play a winger, so he's like an aggressive fullback, which is fun. Thompson and Yao in the middle. Bloor, Griffiths, Rouse and Robinson in the midfield. And then Walton playing behind Stanley. We are here against Heather. It does look like Heathrow, actually. I just realised that. How exciting. We're in our away kit with the white shorts. Beautiful. We've got uh, June Whitfield, a dance, and uh, a clamp. Clamp? Didn't I have a player called Clamp at one point? No, it wasn't. It was in Dollboy, and it was Baggies, and his name was like Tommy Clamp or something, and he's not even real, so don't worry about it. It's not one of our players. Kyle Clamp. What a guy. What a guy. Hinkley are playing again. They won their other game, and I had my maths horribly wrong because they won their game, and now they're eight points behind me. So it must have been 11, not nine. I just couldn't be bothered to count it properly. Um, we've lumped a ball forward there. Didn't didn't get picked up. But Webb's got it in the middle. This is a quarter final. this is. So, as I say, we've only got two further games after this, should we get through. So we might be able to pick up some silverware, hopefully along with the league title, but we'll um, we'll see. But we're playing, as I say, against two teams that are in a stronger league than us this episode, so it may not go to plan, but I'm hoping it does. Nice finish from Stanley. They're sneaking that in. Happy days. Surprised he wasn't offside here, because he was really close. Oh, no, their uh, they're right back was keeping him onside. And just you just love to see it roll across and go in. Beautiful. I'm pretty sure it's still not crossed, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to uh, argue against that, am I? Beautiful. We'll, uh, we'll praise. We'll go up and praise. That's what we want to say. 25 minutes on the clock now. Hanley throws it to Rouse. Griffiths into Robinson. They've got dugouts. Oh, I'm not even sure if we do. I think we might actually. I much not noticed them. Oh, what a clearance. Get out. No messing about with that, was there? So... Gang, Ganga Dean. Don't know what that was. Thompson, Rouse. What are we doing, guys? Are we are we building an attack? No, we're just thumping it forward, and then Stanley puts it over. I think, I thought we were just going to keep seeing it being passed between the back um, back few. I was wondering if we had the camera on reversed because there's nobody in the stands. It might just be that no one cares about the game. That's probably more likely, to be fair. They're um, they're not having, they're not having a great game, which I'm happy about. 
So the ratings are a little bit, uh, a little bit low. They haven't had a, they haven't had a shot. That the team that won this division last year, they haven't even had a shot against us at their home ground. Get in the bin. Blur's got it on that right side. Back heel. Oh, oh, what a goal. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. We'll praise him again. Beautiful. Look at this. Little back heel from Blur into his man. Cross to the back post. Walton just... Beautiful. Beautiful. It's more penalty spot where it's crossed to, but we don't need to worry about that. Hinkley have just took the lead, so they'll be back to five points behind us, I think, when they've won that. So, we are um, we do still have quite a comfortable lead, but it's just not as comfortable as I'd like it to be. That was impressive. My goalie just kicked that from his hands. Literally, from here, the ball went flying. Leg come out, ball flying from his chest. It's very impressive that Thompson's got sent off. What are you playing that, Thompson? Edilson Panzo Antonio. What a name. Right, strikers. Choose who's coming off because one of you are. Hmm. I don't know. Teddy Blue can play right back, so we'll drop him back here. That doesn't help because now we've just got two players that can play right back. Tempted to move Griffiths to be like a centre attack in mid and just play that. <laughs> And then put Webb to be a wing back on attack. Is that something that Blue would prefer? No, but Webb can play centre back. Beautiful. Have I got a decent centre back on the bench? I have. I've got Josh Bailey. Right, we'll go with that. <clears throat> we'll have to get some more from the wing backs then. Uh, yes, I've just done this. Don't worry about it. Just sort it out. One step ahead of you. We'll praise him again. Not particularly going to praise Thompson because he's got his first red card of the season. Uh, and we'll put that to use the overlap. They still haven't had a shot. We'll drop down to just balanced. We'll praise them again. I love being praised. Look at them. Ah, oh, they're over the moon. Ah, oh, they've had a shot. Oh, I'm not happy about that. It took him two minutes to go from not being booked to walking. What a spoon. Nah. I'm going to shout him. I'm going to call him a plonker. Oh, we're down to nine men. Walton's injured. That's helpful. Should we start wasting time? I think we should. Oh, that's not what we want to do, is it? Good work, goalie. Ruff is going through for him. But it, goalie, oh, he got it. He's not even slightly concerned. That needs to be narrow, I just realised. Big launch. Stanley, it, he didn't win the header. He just kind of blocks their player from winning the header, which I'm cool about. A little bit of time wasting. Through to Stanley. Can he make it three? Of course he can. We, I think I think we've scored more goals, three times more goals, than they've had shots. Oh, here they're fans. So I'll see they are here. He's, he's livid. He's not happy at all, is he? That's a shame. He's got another twin on the centre circle as well. In the stand, obviously. Beautiful. Oh, look at him. They're gutted. Look at him. There he is. It's two of them. Beautiful. All right, let's skip. Uh, yeah, let's keep tactics. We'll praise once more. Beautiful. Cross from Blur to Webb. It's four. It's four. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Could have scored in the last game. Bit upsetting that was. I wanted to try and win both trophies. Gives us something to try and win next year. We don't need another tight offside again. Ooh, Hinkley have dropped points. So that's them down to... Six points behind us. Seven points. Look at that. Look at that. Get in the bin. I've, um, I've just fined Josh Thompson for his sending off. Half a week's wages. Yep. Well, I'm thinking it makes sense for our, our story arc. For us to follow the Midland Cup then. We've got Leicester Road and then the semi-final of the Cup. I would do Coventry Copswood, but we've already played them. So we'll do Leicester Road and the uh, the semi-final in our next episode. Hopefully then we can return with the final, which will probably be around here, and then we can finish off the season. Sounds like a plan. If you have enjoyed that, give me a like, subscribe, flick the bell. 
and thank you for your time. <laughs>